Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel, Scoundrels. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a piece of content on uh, alts and what you can use alts for and what I'm using one of my specific alt clones for uh, and how it can help me make money on, on, uh, for my main. Um, so, first of all, thanks to G2A for sponsoring the channel. There's a reference link in the description below. Secondly, if you'd like to join the Scoundrels, subscribe button. Uh, feel free to join me. I will be making Echoes content and TFT content when I get back home next week. And the reason I'm not making TFT content right now is because I haven't played the game enough to be able to, to sort of give people proper guides on it. And I don't want to be, like, I know I, I don't always, like, produce the best content. I try my best, but I don't want to be, like, saying a comp is good in TFT when it's not. So I need to just play the game enough to sort of get to grips with the meta. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today is what I'm using my alt clone for. Um, you obviously have two different types of alt clones. You have the clones on your main account and a clone on a different account. Obviously, when you have a clone on a different account, you can use that for multi-boxing with two devices or whatever you want, right? That's, uh, that's separate. What I'm using this clone for is on the same account as my main clone. And this clone is purely utility because you cannot play two clones on the same account at the same time. So this, this clone is just industry and utility. I'm going to show you the skills that I am currently training. Um, so I am, I, I did put a bit in mining to begin with, but now I've realized that I'm probably not going to be spending much time mining. I have gone into scrap metal processing and I'm now doing advanced scrap metal processing. Um, the reason I'm doing scrap metal processing and advanced scrap metal processing is because this Alt is primarily used to break down contents that I get from my PVE in endeavors on my main account. Um, so advanced scrap metal processing is going to give you scrap metal processing output and that's going to go up the more skills that you get. Uh, and then the only other really important one that I've got is uh, trade, accounting and advanced accounting. I would recommend that you go into accounting before you go into trade. This will increase your profit margins. Um, with accounting, you're going to reduce the market broker's fee and the sales tax. Sales tax. The broker's fee is when you list something on the market and the sales tax is the tax that you get for actually selling it. So you basically, you add those two percentages together and that essentially tells you how much the game is going to take from you from your sale. And then advanced accounting, it will start to impact the market broker's fee again and then you'll have a, a drop in sales tax at level four and then level five. So you'll get a pretty significant drop in sales tax once you hit the level five and eventually at expert accounting, um, as you see here, again, market broker's fee and again, a nice big drop of uh, sales tax when you get to level five. With trade, the only thing that trade actually impacts is the amount of contracts that you can have on the market and the amount of buy orders and sell orders. So if you're, if you're selling large quantities of things and you, you're ex expecting to list a very, like a very large number of things, then trade's obviously the one for you. Um, and then I also had some planetology investment here. We haven't got any exploration yet and I haven't actually bought any of the chips for this character, but I had some planetology investment as well because obviously PI is always a good source of income. Um, but for the most part, I've just been focusing on um, specifically advanced scrap, um, uh, scrap metal reprocessing and then also just looking at trade. Um, so that's essentially what I use this account for. I transfer stuff that I find on my main via contract and I'll show you my inventory. I transfer all of the stuff I get from, from like PVE content over to this, this person and then when it's in a time that I can end up selling it, uh, I'll end up selling it. So for instance, I just bought 1,000 fried interface circuits uh, off the market. So I guess I'm going to I'm just going to sell these now. Um, what are they selling for right now? What can I feasibly sell them for? They they've dropped below four thousand. So I dro I bought them at four thousand because the price a minute ago was four thousand five hundred, and they've now all dropped below. So I'm just going to hold on to these for the time being. Uh, I'm probably not going to sell all of them because I'm I'm going to make a loss if I sell them at, at, at that price. Uh, but yeah, I I transfer everything over, um, and then I essentially end up just. Uh, just sort of like selling things in the market because this has got my market skills. So let's talk a little bit about what you can actually do with these particular skills. So if, you, if you're looking to set up a clone that has the same skills as me, I'll show you with some maths what you can do in order to uh, sort of make money reprocessing stuff. So first of all, you can see exactly how much you're going to get taxed on the market by clicking on the bottom or tapping on the bottom um, bar here that has uh, a couple of these symbols on as well as the, the current orders that you've got going. And you'll see that my broker's fee is 6.2% and transaction tax is 13%. Broker's fee is the, the fee that you pay when you list it's like when you list the item, so it's 6.2% of the item's value. Transaction tax is what you lose when the item gets sold. So essentially for whatever you're listing, the value whatever you're listing 
on the market, you basically add these two things together, and that is the total amount of money that you will pay um, on that particular that particular item. This you pay separately. You pay this from your wallet. This actually gets taken, obviously, from the, the income that you get. But in, in, in the overall thing that you need to think about is essentially whatever price you're listing, you're going to lose this amount of money together. So I will be losing, on average, 19.2% um, on every like price of, of, of something that I actually end up listing. So what can I do on the market with my skills that actually would, would end up making me a profit just by churning things out? Well, I'll show you. Uh, if we go to manufacturing materials and we go to vessel debris, I'm going to show you down here. Let's have a look at a level eight Minmatar ship debris. Okay, I'm going to get uh, 23.85 fried interface circuits and nine contaminated nanites for every single Minmatar ship debris um, that I end up reprocessing. So fried interface circuits you may have seen on the market just a minute ago, they are going for around 3,900 or, or 3,000, nearly 4,000. But let's say a conservative estimate, like if I, if I listed at 3,900, I would likely sell them, right? So we're going to conservatively estimate 3,900. So for every one Mimitar ship debris that I reprocess at level eight, I'm going to get uh, uh, 23.85 fried interface circuits going for 3,900 which would give me a total profit of 93,015 uh, 93, ISK. And then you add the nine uh, nanite, um, uh, contaminated nanite units, and if you go down to the market, you can see how much they sell for. They're going for around 1,000. So we'll, take, we'll say that like if I'm selling that at 1,000, it's about 9,000 added, um, added onto the top. So you add 9,000 to that, uh, and you're looking at nearly, so you, you're looking at basically 104,000 essentially. So let's say we're, we're going for 104,000. So 104,000 um, multiplied by 0 0.818, which is essentially multiplying it by 81.8%, uh, uh, which is essentially going to show me how much money I will get once all of the tax has been taken off. And I'm going to get 85,000 ISK like in terms of value of goods, 85,000 ISK per Mimitar level eight ship debris. Well, I can have a look here and at the station, they're going for 71,000. So if I was to buy in bulk Mimitar ship debris and reprocess it, even with the taxation loss, I'll be making a profit of about 10,000 ISK per uh, Mimitar ship debris. Now, if I can then buy these in bulk and buy a huge amount of them and then put that stuff on the market, um, especially if I'm fulfilling buy orders, I can make quite a lot of money. Uh, and this is something that you could just do over time. So I'm going to do it here, right? I'm going to claim um, all of these. I'm going to buy all of them. And that's 11 million that I've bought these for. Great. So we're going to go over to my inventory. If I can find them, and we are going to go reprocess. Great. Now we're going to drop down here, uh, and I'm going to go select all and stack all, just so I can have them all in one area. So now I've got 4,863, okay? Let's have a look at market details. Right now, they're going for about 3,980. What are, the, are there any buy orders in Jitter? So I'm going to have a look around and see if there are any like specific buy orders in Jitter. So there are some buy orders for 2,800, but we're never going to try and fulfill those. So let's say that we sell these. At, we're going to undercut the market, right? So if I have a look, I think it was 3,980. So let's just say we list these at, at 3,950, right? 3,950, cool, sell. That's already 19 million that they're potentially selling for, which is more than the 11 million that I paid for the, um, the Mimitar ship debris. And even if you were then to take 20% off that, I'm still making more, and I have the contaminated nanite. Um, so these were going for around 1,000. Again, have a look for any, any buy orders that may be here. There is a buy order for these at 1,091. So, we could just sell them at 1,091, right? So some of them immediately got sold. Um, 
and that fulfilled the majority of them. Obviously, there's still some on the market that are higher than the current market price, but there's some, oh, wait, I, I, I actually might have completely messed it up. I might have just been too quick to fulfill the buy order. Never mind. We, uh, we went to fulfill the buy order, but never mind. Um, I can go to the market, actually, and have a look at my orders. If it loads, the market does take a while to load. Um, I might have actually not... I might have made the, the rookie mistake of... Um, so these are actually... There's actually... I'm going to drop these off the market. Um, I'm going to drop these off the market as... I can't drop them off the market. Contaminated nanite polymer. Um, let's have a quick look at the... Uh, so the fried interface circuits have already started to sell, by the way. So they're already starting to sell, which is great. I always find that the um, the salvage materials, because they're used in, in, in construction, generally tend to sell pretty quickly. I'm going to quickly go and have a look at the uh, the contaminated nanite. You might I, you might have just w witnessed me make a rookie error. Yeah, okay, so I wasn't actually looking for what they were selling for in this station. So the closest they're selling for in this station, I probably could have got like 300 profit more, but these will sell relatively quickly, right? These here will sell relatively quickly, and I, I, they weren't making me a huge amount of money regardless. If I'm to sell all of my um, fried interface circuits, so if all of these end up selling, um, then... We're going to make, you know, uh, about an 8 million profit or six, maybe 6 million profit from what we actually paid for for the uh, the Amari, um, the Mimata ship debris. We paid 11 million for the Mimata ship debris, remember. Then we had an extra 1,000 fried interface circuits, which we need to factor in. Uh, but, you know, we should be making a, a decent profit just by uh, buying scrap metal and then reprocessing it and selling the goods because they're just worth more on the market right now. And that's something you should always keep your eye on, always go around checking whether you can actually make money from just buying the raw materials, both for minerals and for um, debris, and seeing what they sell for on the market. And it's a good way, if you have a good pool of money, to expand and, and make more money. Um, so yeah, hopefully that was useful to you. And it's just a good way to potentially find uh, a money-making option through your alt. Uh, and that's through, you know, like, like using marketeering skills and, and, and industry skills as well. So that's the way I do it, and I make a bit of money that way. Uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, it's actually only been about five minutes since I ended the video. Uh, as you can see, they're still selling at this point in time. I started off at 135 million. I bought the ship debris for 11 million, and you can now see that I'm at 141 million. So we have already made a profit, and I still have contaminated nanite circuits to sell on the, on the, on the, uh, the market. So we've already made 6 million. I'm expecting to make... Uh, maybe just a little bit more because I only did a small bulk buy here. But again, in the future, I'll do bigger bulk buys. Uh, and you know, and, you, and selling um, stuff that's used in in production is always going to be in pretty high demand. So I just wanted to quickly add this onto the end of the video to show that I have already made a profit from the video. And uh, this is kind of how, if I just have the time and I don't really feel like going to kill PVE stuff, this is how I end up making a little bit of a profit just by using marketeering and reprocessing skills. And I hope that's helpful for you guys.